Welcome to The Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Tea Tuesday. Or in my world, Crafty Tuesday. Hello. My teacup today I thrifted this week when I was out with my son. It is Wild Cactus and it is by Norcrest. It is hand painted. I will be using this cup in a future project. Today my tea is by Davidson's. It is Ginger Spice. This is my year for stocking up on teas. I also used it and made homemade tea bags for Christmas gifts. So this tea will go a long way. This is a one pound bag. Purchasing tea this way is going to be very economical. Let's see how it tastes. It has a beautiful color. The tea is very mild. It does have a lovely ginger bite. Well, on to our project. I'll be using these small spools as support in the teapot and the sugar bowl. We have some teardrop beads. We'll use one of these. I'm not sure what color I'm going to choose yet. After filming, I'll be using this epoxy clay to attach the hangers to the teapot, the sugar bowl, and the other vessel. I'll be making the hangers out of this wire. I always have a spool handy in the garage. It is 17 gauge wire. It's wonderful for working out in the garden. So the hanger is going to look like that. So we'll clip about a four inch piece of wire. We'll have our jewelry tool handy and we're just going to turn the end into a circle so the epoxy has something to hang on to. Give it a little bend for an arch. Then you're going to bend this just enough so it creates a little bit of a curve for easy hanging. Keep your hot glue warmed up. These are handy to have in your bead box for various projects. We're going to be using this for the teapot. Decide which birds are going to go with which vessel. I think we're going to put this little fellow in here. It's just that simple. That particular vessel does not have a high resale value. For me, I can make more if I use it as a craft fair project. This little bird is actually a little artist piece. It is Dissing Ceramic and it's from Denmark. They don't have a high resale value, so therefore, rather than it going up on eBay, I'm going to be using it in an art project. I think we have our birds sorted out now. This beautiful teapot is broken in three places on the handle. I thrifted this little teapot this fall. It had been at the charity shop for a couple of months 
and I finally decided I need to rescue it. And I'm glad I did. Now we're going to decide what color teardrop we're going to use. I think we'll use the yellow teardrop that complements the bird. Perfect. Inside the teapot there were straining holes for tea leaves, so I threaded the wire through the bead, then down the spout, through the holes in the teapot, and anchored them. And I just used leftover brass wire from making the button ornaments this Christmas. This is just a demonstration of what I did. It was very hard to film this is why I have to show you how I put it together. So it's threaded down the spout into the teapot and then I did anchor it with hot glue. So that's done and we have our pedestal in there. Now it's time to put our little bird in there. We had to build it up just a bit more. It was quite a deep little pot. My son hasn't been in 4-H for two years now, but I still have a lot of the scrap wood because it will become useful down the road, especially when I start the dollhouse. On an upcoming Tea Tuesday, I will share the designs for that. I did reinforce the bird with E6000 glue, and you'll see that right there. Just under the feet. Now we'll give the broken areas a little touch up, and it'll be almost as good as new. We'll touch up as much of the brass as possible so all you see is the teardrop. Aren't you cute? Now this little fellow, he had a little 
ding on his beak and so we're going to fix him up we're going to put white nail polish and a little gold dust and it'll blend right in this is our little support inside the little sugar bowl there's a spool in there already but it needed a little more support you can use some unraveled twine to simulate nesting material and tuck that in also. We're almost done. There we are. Please share in the comments below and let me know how you liked this little upcycling project. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends. Check us out on Instagram Tap that notification button for upcoming announcements for future thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.